بسم الله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم so yeah we were uh, discussing the global warming uh, yeah the um, whole anthropogenic mm-hmm. human cause global warming mm-hmm. um, some of the ideals regarding it wh- how people are reacting to it and how the ideal can be used or abused okay by, um, well let me start off and dive straight into the topic without further ado and without wasting anybody's time so i just start with a bold claim uh, hopefully that'll prick up everybody's ears and uh, invite their attention all right bold claim is this global warming is a hoax really uh, global warming as we know it today the claims of global warming i should say are a hoax and i mean hoax in the technical sense of a hoax i don't mean a a, 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 a white lie or, a, or a, an a, a error by omission or I mean a bold-faced lie yeah. now uh, that's not specific enough which part is a lie the lie here is that the, the, the claim mm-hmm. that uh, there is an increase in global average temperatures Right, so there, mm-hmm. so you're saying that that claim in itself is a hoax. That claim uh, has been a hoax since about at least 1999, uh, since about 2000, possibly 1999, when uh, the increase in temperatures uh, globally, the average temperatures globally, overturned, and a decrease in but the that, average global temperatures actually begun around that time. So at one time there was an increase in global temperatures? That's right, average. until about 1999, 2000. At least that, that's what's claimed. That part I can't deny. I can't prove otherwise. But after that, I, that uh, the part that that uh, temperatures did start to decrease, and that the uh, the IPCC and its uh, its priests uh, were lying to the people. That part is provable. And really? the, uh, 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 I, uh, the proof, of course, is the uh, the hack by a couple of Russian one or two Russian hackers hacked into IPCC computers and accessed the emails of the. Uh, the, uh, the priests of the Church of, uh, of Global Warming, the IPCC scientists, uh, and uh, about 128 megabytes uh, or several hundred megabytes of emails, mm-hmm. lot, tons and tons of data. And once uh, that data was made available public to the general public on the internet, uh, one could, uh, uh, and it was perused by, uh, by you know, people, you know, um, anybody who cared to read it, it became very clear that the scientists were, uh, well, the nice way was that they were fudging the data, but really, the, uh, they, yeah, they were, they were, uh, but uh, without mincing words, they were lying. These scientists were indul- indulging in something completely unscientific. They were treating the data that was entrusted to them from, glo- you know, from, uh, from, uh, from global weather stations from all countries of the world that was trans- uh, trusted to these priests mm-hmm. of this religion of global warming, uh, they had taken liberties with that data, and they had been not only less than honest, they had been bold-faced liars. They manipulated the data, and in the emails it became clear that they were intentionally lying to the general public planet-wide. These shame-faced liars were lying to the whole planet about something that concerned every single one of us. And that affected the lives of every individual on this planet. And these goddamn bastards didn't uh, shy away from telling every father, mother, child on the planet that uh, the global warming was continuing, and that not only was continuing, but ever since 1999 and up, their claims uh, became more and more dramatic. Every couple of years, they would fudge data, they would, they would lie, they would, uh, they would manipulate the raw data from the global, war, uh, global, uh, global weather stations to make even uh, bolder claims about an apocalyptic end of the planet. They're, uh, generally, and this is a trend that those who have kept up with the data can observe, while 10, 12, 13, 14 years ago, 15 years ago, the claim was that the end was a thousand years away, which was dramatic enough. That in a thousand years or so, that with all you know, most coastal regions would be, you know, would be drowned under sea. That the temperatures, temperatures uh, in certain regions of the planet would increase to such, uh, such uh, heights 
that uh, desertification would occur, there would be droughts and famines, that uh, several, uh, you know, se several types of uh, extreme weather phenomena would be on the increase and the rise, and uh, basically the planet would become almost unlivable. So, so originally, 15 years or so, uh, um, and I'm operating here from memory, uh, that was the claim. A few years later, they came back with more lies, with more fudging the data, and they said, oh, what we thought was a thousand years away is actually only a few hundreds of years away. Like a year or two years later, by, nine, by 2003, 2000, 2003, the claim was that within a hundred years, the temperature increase would be seven degrees Fahrenheit or eight or ten or something like that, depending on who you asked, which is, of course, extremely dramatic from, uh, uh, for an average temperature increase. Uh, therefore, bringing the apocalyptic end of all of us uh, from a thousand years to a few hundred years to a hundred years away. Then by 2003, 2004, 2005, the, uh, the liars at the CIA and the Pentagon joined in uh, and chimed in with, with, uh, with uh, leaks of reports and, uh, and uh, articles inside the Pentagon and uh, in collaboration with the British, uh, the British intelligence agencies that uh, they were studying an apocalyptic end within 10, 15 years. 10, 15 years away, by 2015, 16, or thereabouts, there will be the temperatures will increase. There will be desertification. There will be uh, there will be heat waves. There will be uh, uh, rising, uh, you know, rising water levels uh, worldwide, and, and we'd all die if we didn't. Sounds fairly dismal. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. but if we didn't, uh, if we didn't, uh, whatever it is that they wanted us to do, we shall talk about later on. That all this fear mongering was for what? And that's the question that a person with, with uh, discernment must ask themselves at this point. Mm -hmm. So all this dramatization, all this, all this fear-mongering, all this, this scare-mongering, all this faking and lying to the whole planet, why? Why would anybody do it? You know, one thing is that um, some of the guys out there listening might bring up is that the British government recently supposedly cleared the IPCC. They, they said that there was some wrongdoing on the part. I, I don't want to hear BS. I'm not a kid. Okay? I saw the, uh, the, uh, the memos and the emails. They were lying. In fact, specifically, they, they, they were... The they, yes, I've read, I've read through them and I've read uh, quotations from the emails themselves. Um, uh, that's for soft-minded idiots. Okay, that those British uh, government claims and the, the, the British appointed commission to investigate uh, their buddies and their friends and, you know, what am I, a uh, 12-year-old little girl? What the hell? Uh, but uh, the problem is that in the emails specifically, and I'm going to get into details, they were talking about hiding the decrease. Hiding the decrease. It means that there was actually a decrease in global temperatures. After. And they were talking about hiding and, that? Yes, basically taking the raw data, which belongs to the whole planet, since it's from global weather, sta weather stations across the planet, that they would take that raw data and fudge away. Well, like, um, here's an article that was in the Times Online. Uh, oh, wait, uh, wait, wait finish that sentence. Okay, yeah, please, go ahead. Yeah, uh, well... And I stopped at where? I said that they were hiding the decrease. Mm -hmm. Right, they're hiding the decrease. Uh, the, the decrease in global, in average, average global, global temperatures. temperatures. They were... Uh, and that this was actually admitted in the emails. Yes, it was admitted and in the emails. There were actually the scientists who were emailing each other. I forget their names, but uh, they can be easily obtained by anybody who bothers to work. Or who does not trust our, uh, our, uh, our citation of these facts can check it for themselves. They can just get off their fat hineys. Uh, now, and go online, the internet, just type in uh, uh, IPCC uh, uh, emails and, uh, and lies, yeah. or quotations. IPCC e uh, um, uh, leaked, mm -hmm. uh, IPCC leaked emails, uh, quotes, or quotations. That should bring up the exact quotes that we're referring to. There's oh. also several YouTube uh, videos by all the concerned denizens of this planet who reveal uh, these lies and those liars. I, um, I have a friend mm -hmm. who, meant, who, in regards to the possibility of the decrease, who doesn't fully accept mm -hmm. the possibility, but mm -hmm. nevertheless said, even if that was the case, yeah. first of all, why should we be directly worried about when, if there's still some possibility that changes the humans are making into the environment, 
will negatively affect climate, isn't it better to be safe than sorry? That by operating under the premises that 